Hello, I am professional makeup artist Ari Magdalene and today we'll be showing you how to create this easy, effective, awesome emo look. What I've done to start off with is apply a piece of tape to the outer corner of my eye to help pronounce the line. As you can see, we're going to wind up with something like this, so the line is rather nice. One of the best keys to perfect emo makeup is the way that you do the black. Black is very prominent in the emo makeup, so I'm going to start with a black base. And for this, I'm just using a black eyeliner, and I'm applying it to the lid, out to the tape, and then once I have it laid down, I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. Now I'm using a matte black eyeshadow. This is Carbon by MAC on a Delium Tool 772 brush. And I'm just going to pat that over the base to set it and keep the color nice and dark. Now I'm taking a Delium 772 brush. This is just a fluffy blender. And I'm going to diffuse the line above the lid into the crease. Using the remainder of that black shadow on the tip of this brush to smoke out the lower lash line. Very concentrated, heavy black eye that doesn't look too panda-like, and that's pretty important. Now I'm taking a blue liquid liner to add in a pop of color. This is Wet n Wild Liquid Liner in Cobalt. And I'm going to apply that thickly with a thick wing on the edge. So, make sure your tape is pressed down if you need a little help with this part. Just drawn up the shape of the wing. I'm going to start at the inner corner of the eye and work my way over, slowly building intensity as I go. Once it's dry, you can go ahead and remove the tape and just give your lashes a quick curl. For mascara, I will be using CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. And I'm making sure to apply enough to where you don't lose the lashes in the black on the lid. And apply some black to the waterline. You can go as heavy or as light as you want. Heavy would look more authentic. So just use your discretion and your personal preferences there, I suppose. So here we have the emo eyes. I would suggest not doing anything to the cheek since the eye is such a heavy color. And for the lips, I will be applying Revlon's Color Burst Lip Butter in Creme Brulee. This is just a shimmery nude. And that wraps up this easy emo look. To check out some cool emo clothing, look at the link in the description box. Thanks. See you guys later.